When we're simplifying expressions that have negative exponents on the outside as well as on the inside, we always have a choice of which way to go. I'm going to work on the inside of this expression first and simplify there. So the negative 3 will stay where it is. It's not a negative exponent. x to the third will stay where it is as well. But x to the negative 1 will come up and become x to the positive 1 power. In the denominator, we'll keep y to the fifth, and y to the negative 2 will go down because it needs to become positive as well. So we'll have y to the fifth and then y squared, and we'll keep this negative 3 on the outside. Then next, let's simplify the x to the third and x to the first, and then as well in the denominator. We'll have negative 3, x to the fourth power in the numerator, and that's over y to the fifth times y squared, which is y to the seventh and that's still all raised to the negative third power. To make that a positive exponent, all we need to do is take the reciprocal of the fraction inside the parentheses. So that will be y to the seventh over negative three x to the fourth, and that's all raised to the positive third power now. Next step is to cube everything inside this expression. So y to the seventh to the third power is y to the 21st. We'll have negative three that's cubed as well, we should pull that negative right outside the fraction bar, though, and not keep it in the denominator. So negative 3 to the third power is negative 27. We'll put the negative right here and the 27 in the denominator. Then x to the fourth to the third power means x to the fourth times 3, which is x to the twelfth. 